Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Today, we are heading to Route 5, because last episode we went to Turfield, we were able to defeat the gym leader Milo, which was our first time ever doing that, it was a lot of fun. And we also completed our team, the team that I want to have throughout the rest of the game, at least as far as I can see, um, which of course is going to be Score Bunny and... I know I'm gonna blank on names if I do this, so I'm not gonna name all, them all off. You can keep watching if you haven't seen already. You probably should go back and watch though, or you're gonna be missing a ton of context. Anyways, Route 5, here we are. Route 5. <laughs> Doesn't say anything more than that. And there's already trainers. Oh, you're on TV. Are you like a TV presenter? Oh yeah, you have a microphone. Time for a special interview with the Gym Challenger. The best way to get to know you is a Pokemon battle, of course. Hey, this is pretty cool. Am I getting paid for this? <laughs> Good Pokemon trainers really shine on camera. Oh, are we going against both of you? You both had Pokeballs, yeah. You are challenged by interviewers Jill, G Jillian? Yeah, Jillian and Cam. Or maybe it's Gillian. No, no, I think it's... I don't know which one's Jillian, which one's Cam. Clink. Oh, okay, so yeah, it must be Jillian. All right then, Dot and Shawnee, get out there. So I don't know that Pokemon on the right. Helio... Helioptile? Helioptile, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Lots of new names today. Okay, so let's try this out a little bit. First off, we definitely want to use the double kick against uh, Clink because it's a uh, steel type. And then this is against you. Because I think that's an electric type. It looks like it to me. So we might be a little bit weak. Shawnee might be a little bit weak to uh, Helioptile. But there's that done. Super effective and everything. So far, we're looking good on camera. And we're getting some experience points for that. Not too bad, quite a lot, actually. Uh, power trip. Oh, yeah. That did not do much. <laughs> Thundershock. No, watch out, Johnny. Yikes. What level are these Pokemon? Um, that was definitely super effective. Level 18. Let's use Flame Charge on Helioptile. And we'll just do, we'll do power trip again. What else are we gonna do? Uh, come on. Oh, don't even need it. Fantastic. Okay, so that is our first battle done, unless they have more Pokemon to throw out, which I don't think they do, but Shawnee is almost at a level up. And there we go, we defeated uh, Jillian. Uh, it's hard to describe it in just a few words. What an incredible potential. Thank you. I lost, does that mean the interview is ruined? No. I mean, honestly, that's probably shows a good perspective of how strong we are. It's gonna make a great story. <laughs> With your strength, you're sure to keep winning during your gym challenge. Please let me get an interview again sometime, whenever you'd like. Your Pokemon look great when I viewed them through the camera. Thanks, I think they look good off the camera as well. Um, whoa, 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 new Pokemon, I'm getting you first. You're the one I want. <laughs> look at him, Mitch, we'll have a fit. Wow, his tail had some eyeballs on it. Okay, are you a water type? You might be. We gotta be careful here. We'll use a double kick. Boom. Oh, that did nothing. Nothing. Not very effective at all. Hit two times. Counter. Whoa. Oh, yikes. So are you water type? Let's try flame charge. Uh, It's not, not effective, so I guess you're not a water type. Just because you're blue doesn't mean, wow, okay, come on. That was ridiculous. Um, use next Pokemon. Um, Biggie maybe? Cause I'm thinking maybe you're psychic. Cause there are some weird psychic Pokemon. And you're definitely weird. Uh, let's try Thief. Hopefully this won't take you on one hit. Oh, not quite, not quite, we're fine. It is super effective though. They're gonna use Mirror Coat, but it failed. So let's try Thief again. Okay, you should be low enough to catch now. Super effective, mirror coat, but it failed. I think that's probably trying to steal back from us. Anyways, Pokeball, let's catch Wobbuffet, and then we have to revive Dot. I'm sorry, Dot. Whoa! You did not want to be caught. Safeguard. Mystical Evil or Mystical Veil? I don't know. <laughs> I, I didn't read that soon enough, I guess. Let's try something else. Let's try another Great Ball. I should be able to buy these from the store sooner or later. Well, let's try this out. Please don't give up on me. Because I can catch le Pokemon at the level 25 now. So I should be able to catch you no problem. Wobbuffet was caught. Nice. 
And there's other Pokemon around I want to get to, but we'll gain some experience for that. Shawnee is now level 22, as well as uh, Smokey and Tom leveling up. Shawnee wants to learn to move Taunt. Uh, let's see what moves we might want to forget. So Taunt is a dark type. Uh, the target is taunted into a rage that allows it to use only attack moves for three turns. I don't think we need it. I don't think we need that at all. So Shawnee did not learn Taunt. Smokey grew to level 14. Tom grew to level 18. And that seems to be about it. But also we call Wobbuffet. So Wobbuffet's data, it is a psychic type. It is a patient Pokemon. Uh, to keep it its pitch black tail hidden, it lives quietly in the darkness. It is never first to attack. Very interesting Pokemon for sure. We're not gonna name you. And we're gonna send you to a box. But I'm glad we got one. So, before we move forward catching these two, I wanna go and use our bag. Use a revive on Don. Because the poor thing fainted. Uh, and then a couple of potions if we can. There we go. Smokey needs some potions too. I mean, at the same time, we're probably not gonna be using him right now because uh, he's so low leveled. So I might not have to worry about it. We'll, we'll run into a heal station sooner or later as we move through Route 5. So I've gotten the one on the left before, I think. But I've not gotten this Pokemon. You are cute. Actually, no. We've seen you. A lot of you are saying that Minchino is definitely the, the right pronunciation. So let's hope that's true. I don't know if I've ever actually fought this Pokemon before. Um, the fighting move is super effective, but I'm worried that that might yeah, be too much. So let's just do this for now. So that's Speed Rose there. Minchino's gonna use uh, Charm. And we are going to use just a normal Pokeball. We have 12 of these. We might not have these so quickly. I need to buy a lot more. Come on, we can do it. Because I know a lot of these were in Moto Stoke. Minchino was caught. Awesome. And not quite a level up for anybody, but they're closing in on it. I feel like we get less experience per battle and catching than most of them. Like in, like in Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, I feel like you got more experience. But also, also I think we're going through a lot more battles in general. We're just gonna add Minchino to the box, but I guess that means we've already caught you at some point. What about you? I'm pretty sure we caught you. Or no, we didn't. I remember trying to catch you and it didn't work out. It's Stuffle. Okay, Dot, you know what to do. Cause it won't, no wait, will it tell me if it's super effective or not? So maybe I did catch it, I can't remember. I can't remember. There's just too many Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, so let's use Flame Charge. Once again, it should get you pretty low, but not enough that you're fully taken out. So I think we'll use an Ember against you and then we'll try to catch you. Come on now. Boom. Nice. Okay, so you're using Payback, uh-oh. That sort of hurt. Throw out another ball. And let's see if we can't catch ourselves a Stuffle. Stuffle is super cute. Obviously sort of supposed to be like a stuffed animal. Oh, come on. Stuffle's a tough one. Using strength. Oh, stop it. No, 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 wrong thing. Okay, come on. We got pretty close that one time. Can we get closer this time? No. What's going on with that? Why is Stuffle so tough to catch? We're gonna keep trying, like you're in the red. Typically we don't even need to get a Pokemon into the red to catch them. Come on. You just won't do it. What is going on? Let's try a different Pokeball. We have a couple of different options. No, Dot! Ah, I feel so bad for her. This happens to her so much. Use next Pokemon. It's gonna be Shawnee. Okay. Let's try a different Pokeball though. Fight. Um, we have a Friend Ball, or Premier Ball, Great Ball, Nest Balls, Net Ball. Bug type, though. Hmm. The more effective the lower level. So I don't know if this would be all that effective, but we can try it. Come on. Come on. Yes, there it is. We finally caught Stuffle. That was a bit of a challenge. Okay, so your Pokemon gain experience. Biggie's level 22. I want to learn Nasty Plot. What is with all of these sinister moves? Biggie wants to learn Thief, Beat Up, Nasty Plot. Uh, the user simulates its brain by thinking bad thoughts. This sharply raises the user's special attack stat. Okay, um, 
Interesting. I don't know if this is, well that's special attack, and this is normal attack, then actually I don't know if that's the case. I don't know how that works. Anyways, I don't think we need it. I think I might take a skip on that one. Yep, I'll give up. Okay, well, we can always go back to the Pokemon healing area if we need to re-get that. So yeah, this is new. We weren't able to catch stuff before. It's a flailing Pokemon, a normal fighting type. The way it protects itself by flailing its arms may be an adorable sight, but stay well away. This is this this is flailing that can snap thick tree trunks. I think this thing is bigger than I thought. <laughs> okay, no nickname for you, but I'm glad we got you. Send to a box, and I will be reviving Dot again. I might not have Dot out in front, but I just wanna, what in the world is that thing? Um, hold on, let's grab this before it disappears. What is this? A wild spritzy. I've never seen this before. Bird versus bird. Level 19, we're level 22. Let's try pluck. I don't think it's gonna work too well, because it's flying versus flying. It'll probably just be normally effective. Uh, aromatherapy. A soothing aura, but a failed. Don't exactly know what that does. Maybe we're flying above the aura right now. Come on, that gets you pretty low. Echoed voice, whoa. Didn't do too much. Okay, ready for this? We're going to use a normal Pokeball first. Cause you're one level below the Stuffle. And Stuffle was just like a naturally, like a hard fighting Pokemon for some reason. You not so much, we got ourselves a Spritzy. That's new. Okay, very interesting. Um, so level 22 as Jazzy, level 15 as Smokey, very, very nice stuff there. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Smokey wants to earn focus energy. Well, we actually don't know what Smokey's moves are right now. He has one poison move, acid spray. Um, focus energy, the user takes a deep breath and focuses so that critical hits land more easily. Uh, I don't think we need that. I'm gonna take a skip on that one too. So no focus energy for Smokey. And Spritzy, added to the Pokedex, a fairy type, very interesting. The scented spotty gives off, enraptures those who smell it. Noble ladies had no shortage of love for Spritzy. Interesting, it's only one pound. Uh, no nickname for Spritzy, but we're going to go ahead and send you to a box. Okay, well with that done, for real, let's go to our bag and revive that one more time. And then I might just uh, leave it like that for now. What was down this way? Because this way is definitely like a detour, right? There's another Spritzy and a Pokeball and a Wobbuffet again. Hold on, hold on. Let's grab this. Three Heal Balls, cool. Got to get more Pokeballs when I can. Uh, we'll try the, okay, hold on. Let's talk to the chef. Hi, oh, you're actually a trainer. Oh, ho, ho. I found a trainer whilst gathering berries. Okay, how about winner take all on those berries? I thought you were holding a berry, you're holding a Pokeball. Cook Stewart, <laughs> he's happy. All right, let's go against some Applin. It's an apple. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, well, fire should do good against this. It should be a grass type then. Pokemon, let's do Flame Charger and hopefully take you out in one hit. Because <laughs> I really don't want Dot taking any more damage than she has to. That is not one hit. But was that super effective? It wasn't. Astonish. Whoa, whoa, is it a bug type? Huh. I guess there's a little worm coming out of the back of it. So the apple is just an apple. The worm is the applin. That's weird. Okay. Getting experience for that one. Wowie. And that was it. Cook Stewart is defeated. I should have given my Pokemon a berry when its HP got low. Yeah, I guess so. Well, there we go. We were able to defeat you. Different Pokemon love different berries, so you've got to gather a lot of different kinds. We definitely do. Can I shake this for a little bit? Yep, shake it. I think I'll just shake it a little bit. Three berries found, let's get up to eight. A chest of berry fell from the free, there's four. No. Before we were able to get to like 13 or 14. I don't know what happened. Um, But it's normal type, so fighting should be good against us. It's level 17, double kick. Might be enough to take it out in one go. Oh, if we get another kick like that. Almost. What are you gonna do? Stockpile. What does that do? 
Stockpiled one. Defense rose. Okay, and special defense. But that's fine. <laughs> we'll still be able to beat you. Excellent. Okay, see a school of it. Unfortunately, this probably means the Pokemon stole the berries. I was too greedy. I'll learn from my lesson. Uh, but let's see. Yep, all the chillin' berries. Oh, but we picked up the rest of them. You picked up the berries that fell from the tree. You got one cherry berry, one person berry, one chesto berry. Okay, so we got three of them. That's not too bad. Okay, so nothing new around here. Got more of these stuffles. Oh, I see this yellow Pokeball. It has a TM31 attract. Cool. It, if it is the opposite gender of the user, the target becomes infatuated and less likely to attack. Huh, interesting. Well, let's go over here. Can we can we fish in here? We can. I probably should have changed Pokemon. Uh, can I cancel? I can cancel. Uh, I know. No, wait, 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 did that cancel it though? Oh, that stinks. That's not what I wanted to do. Anyways, hello. The secret to preparing an amazing meal is stirring it just right over the perfect heat. You know you're doing great if the top of the pot starts sparkling. Why not stop by my camp and practice cooking a bit? I would love to. So let's head into the tent. You found Harrison's Pokemon camp. Would you like to pay them a visit? Yes. So can I cook? How do I do that? Oh, you have a Pichu. One of my favorite Smash Ultimate characters. Hey guys. What is that thing? I don't know. It looks like a Wobbuffet, but way happier. Okay. So we could take out a toy, like, hey guys. Hey, over here, over here. I also got this toy ready. Hup, ah. <laughs> Can I talk to uh, Harrison over there? Yeah, Harrison. Chat with trainer. Here we go. Good afternoon. Oh, Bud's nature's bold. Yeah. Okay. How do I cook though? Menu. Oh, here we go. Toy cooking. Would you like to do? Want to cook? Check ingredients. Check the curry decks. Spicy curry is the only one I've made so far. Key ingredient. Nothing. Uh, let's cook. Yeah, I wanna cook with Harrison. Let's start cooking. Please select a berry. Um, Let's do an Ayapapa berry. A big berry that's full of sourness and water inside. Just one. And then a berry with a unique flavor. It doesn't have a dry taste, so it actually is easy to use for cooking a right person. Berry has a bright color. We'll do three of these, and then one orange berry. Okay, I'm ready. Sure, <laughs> why not? It might not taste good, because I don't really know what curry is supposed to taste like. Too much. And mushrooms, ooh. Start, okay, so I'm supposed to fan it off. Oh, come on, Harrison, put in the work. Put in the work, Harrison. What do you think this is? Fun and games? We're gonna get this fire fanned as much as possible, as soon as possible. <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> Watch out, Pokemon. Okay, give it a good stirring. I just like knock Harrison out of the way. Out of my way, I'm stirring this thing. <laughs> That'd be great. That would not be, that'd be very weird. This is his camp. I'm calling all the shots right now. Okay. We're stirring it ridiculously quickly. Somebody's gonna get smattered. Uh, put your heart into it. Yeah, perfect timing to throw my heart in. Okay. Now what? <laughs> it just ca catches on fire. So did we do it? Everybody is excited. Come on over for some curry. Sour mushroom medley curry. Is that a good thing? Uh, <laughs> I love how Dot looks. She's like, ah, it's okay, I guess. Thanks. Okay. Sour mushroom medley curry. Taste rating, milsery class. Your Pokemon's HP was restored and any status conditions were healed. Your Pokemon gained experience points. Dot and the rest of your party got friendly towards you. Aw, that was cute. You gotta do that more often. Thanks for the time, Harrison. Uh, Gain some experience points. Wow, quite a lot too. So I definitely gotta stop missing out on that. I did see that there was an item over here as well. Two big mushrooms, nice. Okay, so I think we're done with this little detour. We can, oh, that was just spritzy. Uh, we can battle you. I'd like to show you my Pokemon that have grown so well. Well, mine have grown a lot too, so we'll see who's grown the most. It's Pokemon breeder, Debra. And she's sending out Minchino. Oh, that was a cute Pokeball. But Doc can handle you, I think. 
Because you're normal type, right? Yes, this would be super effective. We have quite the level lead on you. Oh my gosh, you're done for, I'm so sorry. Did you have more Pokemon beyond that? Because you might need them. Uh. Oh, will this be a level up for Tom? Indeed, it will be also for Dot as well. Very cool. Steeny, what is Steeny? I'll just keep with Dot because I have no clue. Oh, Steeny is like a, a grass type. <laughs> very, very pretty. Uh, we will use Flame Charge. That should do deal with it quick, quite quickly. Yep. All right, super effective. And that's a level up for Shawnee and Smokey. All right. I like it. And we defeated Debra. I wasn't sure which moves to use and got lost in thought. That happens. Don't worry, you'll you'll, you'll gain a better battle sense the more you battle. I was chased chased by Pokemon in the tall grass and ended up blundering aimlessly. Oh, okay. Well, let's battle you now. My partner Pokemon's been growing in a really unique way. Check it out. Yeah, what is that supposed to mean? This is Pokemon breeder Adrian. And they have Stuffle. Oh, great. I mean, it seems like a normal Stuffle to me. Stuffles are tough to deal with, so you're psychic. So I actually, well, no, this is super effective then. Weird. Is Dark good against fighting? I always get this mixed up. <laughs> Stuffle is just very like a beefy Pokemon apparently, because that just did not do much damage compared to the same, we did a, we did this against a level 17 earlier. It was a one hit takedown. Okay, anyways, let's try this again. Boom, and see ya. Was that all you got? Oh yeah, you can see there was a little tag on his butt. He really is supposed to be a stuffed animal. And no level ups. Rots. Uh, we have not gone against Rots before because it's not telling me if any of my moves are effective. Let's just use Shawnee. I have a feeling that maybe Shawnee will help. Maybe not. But if it's grass or bug type, we should be in the clear. Uh, okay, okay. That looks grass or bug-ish. Let's try Pluck. Oh, nice, good job, Shawnee. Okay, so there are some more experience points, not too much though. Cutie Fly. Let's switch Pokemon again and go to Jazzy. Because I have not used Spark yet. And I you know Fly is in this name's Pokemon. If it's not flying, I'm gonna be concerned. Uh Oh my gosh, it's a little fly! That is so adorable! I think I might have seen that one before, but I can't remember. All I know is that I love it. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh, so our speed harshly fell. Let's use Spark. Oh, so that that wasn't super effective, but it, it still worked. They're gonna use Absorb. And once they absorb a lot, it's not gonna do much. Okay. Use Spark again. And we're good. Cutie Fly fainted. So you actually had three Pokemon. I think, or am I miscounting? I don't know. Pokemon are living creatures after all. You can't always raise them how you want. Yeah, you gotta work with them, not work at them, uh, I guess. Raising Pokemon unselfishly means that they'll show you their new capabilities. That is indeed true. So I didn't wanna just you know skip all this stuff. I'm just trying to get as much explored as I possibly can. So we were over here before, but we didn't go to the right because I didn't notice it. So there is a Pokeball waiting for us right here. It has a Shed Shell, an item to be held by a Pokemon. This discarded carapace enables the holder to switch out of, bottle, of battle without fail. Oh really? That could be useful. Um, oh come on, I was trying to go around them, but there was a tree in my vision. Okay, another Spritzy. Should I run or should I fight? I don't have anything that's super effective, so we're just gonna try to run. Got away safely, that's nice. Because we've made it to like some kind of like point of interest. Also, well, never mind. Uh, hello. Nice to see a new face around you. This is a Pokemon nursery. We take care of people's Pokemon here. When people leave two Pokemon with us, we sometimes find eggs. If you're interested in that sort of thing, ask the old lady inside to tell you more. 
Do you want to leave any Pokemon with me? I'd like to leave Pokemon, sure, why not? We can leave up to two Pokemon with us. Which Pokemon should we look after? I mean, whatever ones that might evolve, really. Um, Is there any I know for a fact? I think that Pancham would evolve. Just so that they keep getting level ups so that eventually they could evolve. Uh, and Little Z maybe, or Machop. I know Machop would evolve. Uh, it'll cost a thousand to leave two Pokemon. Which is, yes, 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 okay. That's not too expensive, so we can handle that. All right, goodbye, you two. Uh, then you can both trust us, trust us with both Ch Pancham and Machop. I'll take fine care of them. Whenever you want to collect your Pokemon, do let me know. So they should be getting experience and stuff while that's all happening, I think. Oh, welcome. Is there anything you'd like to know about? Tell me about the Pokemon Nursery. Here at the Pokemon Nursery, we take care of the Pokemon that trainers leave with us. The Pokemon we look after won't get strong, but if you leave two Pokemon with us, we sometimes find Pokemon eggs. So I guess maybe they don't get stronger? If you want to leave your Pokemon with us, please speak to my granddaughter outside. Is there anything else you'd like to know about? Uh, tell me about Pokemon eggs. If you put a Pokemon egg in your party and carry it around, a Pokemon will hatch from the egg. Nobody knows where Pokemon eggs come from. They are truly are mysterious. Is there anything else you'd like to know about? Tell me about the Pokemon I should leave. If you want to find a Pokemon egg, find Pokemon eggs, think about the two Pokemon you leave here. I recommend you leave two of the same species of Pokemon with different genders. If the species are similar, we may still be still find a Pokemon egg. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if this is gonna work. Uh, but it, it seems we never find eggs with certain combinations of Pokemon left here. Is there anything else you'd like to know about? Nope. Please come again. It's a Toxel, a real Toxel. I found an egg and it carried and carried it around with me and it hatched into a Toxel. Why don't why don't you raise it? It's a real shocking Pokemon. You received Toxel, well thank you. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, let's see this in the Pokedex. Wow, look at you, you're like a little poison thing. Well no, you're Shocksel or Toxel. So maybe shock and poison? And you look like you're wearing a diaper or something. Yeah, electric poison, wow. It manipulates the chemical makeup of its poison to produce electricity. The voltage is weak, but it can cause a tingling paralysis. Very interesting Pokemon. Glad to have it. Uh, sent to a box forever. Sorry. Tox Tox. And take these too. They'll help your Pokemon grow if you use them. What are these? F five Experience Candies XS. Very cool. A candy that is packed with energy. When consumed, it will grant a single Pokemon a very small amount of experience points. Yeah, extra small. Uh, eggs are found at Pokemon nurseries. Experience candies are found from max raid battles. And you found yourself a real nice friend today, wouldn't you say? I would. Okay, is there anything else of interest around here? I don't think so. So let's leave. And also, check out the sign, the Pokemon nursery. You found the right place to come for, to, for all your Pokemon egg finding needs. Okay, so we're good to go continue down Route 5 where there's Team Yell again. Oi, just hand over the bike already. We needed to cross this long bridge. We're gonna use that bike to chase around gym challengers. It'll be a scream. <laughs> How barbaric. It wouldn't work anyway. You don't even have a Rotom with you. Is this a doctor? Yeah, I guess so. He's got like scrubs on and a face mask. Hey, young gym challenger, they're trying to steal my bike. Please, if you could give them a good thrashing, I would be in your debt. All right, Team Yell, go bully somebody else. Actually, just don't go bully anybody at all. Go take a hike. <laughs> Oi, we're not trying to steal the bike, only borrow it. We're gonna use it to chase after the gym challenges and make them all tired. But I'm thinking you deserve a special shout out. I'm gonna crush you in, in a battle. We'll see about that. You're challenged by Team Yell Grunt. What's interesting is that there's always like a team of something in these Pokemon games. But typically the team has like some kind of like evil overarching plot like Team Rocket is like a team of like criminals. But these guys are just sort of fans of a musician that just also have nothing better to do. <laughs> so it's a little bit different than normal. All right, well that was super effective. It hit one time. And what else are you gonna send out? Anything? Feeble, okay, my Feeble against yours. What's good against Dark type? I don't know. I always get this mixed up. I wanna look it up real quick, just really, really fast. Uh, vulnerable to fighting bug and fairy. Okay, so we should wait with what we have, because I don't have a bug or fairy type. Okay, so fighting is my best bet. Sorry, but my thievel's better than yours. 
You're gonna do quick attack, won't do much, sorry. I'll just do that double kick. Excellent. And, is that all you have? It might be. I would imagine two is probably the average amount of Pokemon these guys have. Level up for Biggie, Jazzy, and Smokey. So that's pretty cool. Both Biggie and Jazzy get level 23. Smokey gets to level 17. And we defeated the Team Yell Grunt. For Team Yell, we get all up in the faces of trainers. Well, well, the only thing you're getting up in the face of right now is defeat. Gah, you crushed my attempt to crush you. Why you, I want that bike. Don't get in my way. Oh, I'm gonna get, you, get in your way. That bike's not yours. So another Team Yell Grunt. Sableye, what is this? Whoa, look at you. You're creepy. I, I don't know what this is. So let's try double kicking it. Uh, use disable. Oh no. So I guess I can't use double kick anymore. Uh, let's try flame charge. Oh, come on. Nice, oh, really nice. Scratch, okay, scratch isn't that big of a deal. Yeah, we'll be fine. But this is your only Pokemon, so we should be able to just get rid of this guy and we'll be fine. Excellent. So, we gained experience points, almost level 20 for Tom, and you're defeated, you're even easier than the other guy. I was too distracted by that bike, otherwise there's no way I'd lose to a yellow be belly like you. <laughs> okay, if you say so. You're too strong. If you stay in the gym challenge, you're gonna cause problems for our lady. You haven't seen the last of us. We're gonna make sure you stay out of our lady's way. All right. Your lady seemed much nicer than you did. My word, you're quite the trainer. And I see you have a Pokedex too. That means you have a Rotom with you. Fantastic, I think I'll give this bike to you then. Better you have it than Team Yell. Now, you know that Rotom love motors very, very much, right? Enough to jump right into machines that have motors. So that got me thinking, if I attach a motor to a bicycle, then maybe I could get a Rotom to pop into it as well. I see. Come on now, give it a shot. Enjoy cycling together with Rotom to the fullest. Chop, chop, come on now. You and Rotom ride that bicycle together. You obtained a Rotom bike, but it's yours. I don't wanna take it. Uh, this bike can be combined with the Pokemon Rotom to, to use a turbo boost. I'll read the manual. Press the plus button or minus button to ride your bike with Rotom. Let's get cycling. Okay. Whoa, look at this. Oh, they even have like little uh, pegs on the side of the wheels for grinding, I suppose. Huh, whoa, super speeding. Can I talk to you again? Oh no, you just say the same thing. But I guess we have a bike now. Thank you for the bike, mister, I appreciate it. Well, there's an item over here. Uh, Grabbing it. You found a genius feather, an item for use on a Pokemon. It slightly increases the special attack base points for a single Pokemon. Okay, cool. And what about you? What is the problem with those Team Yell goons? I can understand wanting to cheer someone on, but they cause so much trouble in the process. Hardly a decent way for fans to behave. I agree. Let's get out of here. Oh, here's somebody else. Hi. That big building you see in the distance is Hammerlock Stadium. Oh wow, that is a big building. You're going to battle there too. Well, thank you for the confidence. Booster, you just you really believe in me. I, I appreciate that. Swift Feather, an item for use on a Pokemon. It slowly increases the speed base points of a single Pokemon. So just like the Genius Feather, but with speed. Oh, hey, it's Hop. There you are, Zebra. I'm warning you though, any closer than that and we're gonna have to be have a battle, you and me. <laughs> Is that a threat? I warned you, we're both gym challengers who've earned ourselves a grass badge. This is the perfect training. All right, let's go against him and spin a little bit. So let's see how his skills have Im improved. Mean trainer hop on the big bridge. Pokemon trainer hop sent out Wooloo. Well, that's a normal type, right? So we can handle this. His music reminds me of Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, let's have a taste of what gym badge holders can be, uh, leaders, whatever that said, can do. Uh, see, so yeah, let's do double kick. I might have to use an ether on flame charge soon. Oh my gosh. Super good. Sorry, Wooloo. Get out of here. Okay. And we're getting close to a level up for Dot. Typical. Should have known you'd master type matchups. 
Okay, come on, almost. He had 309 experience. Now we're starting to pick up with that. So level 26 for Dot, level 20 for Tom. Cool. And now you're gonna send out Curve Esquire. Corv Esquire, not Curve. Uh, there we go, let's switch to Jazzy, because it's gonna be lightning. All righty, you got it, buddy. So with this one, I'm too nervous to eat berries, <laughs> unfortunate. Let's use Spark. I mean, maybe we should use Nuzzle first just to paralyze you. But this could also technically paralyze you. Can can you stop doing that? All righty, it seems like we have a lot of similar Pokemon to Hop, I'm noticing. Super effective, and you got paralyzed, awesome. Let's do it again. Yes, okay, so we should be able to get you taken out here. Nice. And almost a level up for Biggie there. Thwacky, is that, is that Grookey's evolution? I can only imagine. So let's switch back to Dot and use Fire. Jazzy, switch out to Mac and let's send out Dot. But yeah, with this one, I'm guessing this is, every one of my Pokemon is an ace. This, this is no problem at all. Okay, Thwacky. Hey, look at you! You got like two little bongo sticks now. I mean, not bongo sticks, like, I guess you could use them for like a xylophone if you had like a drum around. Yeah, like drumsticks, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, uh, he just, he looks very calm now, too. I like the middle evolution so far. I wish that there was somebody who had Sobble so I could see what the middle evolution of that is, but maybe we'll find out later. Anyways, that was super effective. And using round? Oh, very musical. <laughs> I mean, because that was sort of the thing, because Grookey also had a stick that he would slam around, like, musically. So he just has, like, this, like, musical uh, sort of idea with him. And, oh, Super Potion, bad timing. I should've just done another flame attack. Instead, I used Ember. That brought you all the way back up. I mean, Ember can be really good, it's just not as good. Okay, fight again and do another Ember. Do I get to use it twice, though, because you use a potion? Nice. Sorry, potion didn't help you very much. So Thwacky is down, and maybe you have one more Pokemon? I'm not sure, but there is level 24 for Shawnee and level 18 for Smokey. Nice. Wants to loot on the move Bite. I mean, yeah, sure, Bite's fine. It's a dark type move. Um, maybe over Faint? Uh, or Fury Swipes. Hmm. I think I'll put it over Fury Swipes. Okay, one, two, and ta-da! And we learned a new move and defeated the Pokemon Trainer Hop. We both got ourselves the same grass badge, so how come you're so much stronger? I don't know, maybe I've been doing more battles along the way than you have. I mean, I also have a lot more Pokemon. You've gotten strong, Zebra. Seems I've got to train even harder from now on. You attained a revive, nice. Okay. Next up is Nessa, the leader of the water gym. And Jazzy's gonna be really helpful for that one. Okay, so off we go. I could switch back to the bike, but there's some things to pick up, like a resist feather, an item for use on a Pokemon. It slowly increases the defense base points of a single Pokemon. Who is dropping all these feathers? I'm guessing a bird. <laughs> all right, oh, there's another one. The health feather uh, slightly increases the HP base points for a single Pokemon. Oh, what is that noise? Oh, oh, it's you. Can I get you? Come back. Yeah, I got you. I don't have you, so I want to capture you for sure. A wild Eldegoss. So what level are you? Twenty-two. So I should be able to use Ember and get away with it without like one hit taking you out. I hope. Oh yeah, definitely. We should be able to do that a second time, actually. Cotton Spore. Oh man. Okay, ready. Fight, Ember. We're gonna use Cotton Spore again. They gotta use that twice in a row? Oh, well, it is lowering our speed, so that makes sense. <laughs> okay. That hopefully would be low enough. It's super effective. I feel like it did less damage that time, though. Pokeballs, we only have seven of these, so let's really make it count. Come on, Eldegoss, we can get you. Yes, there we go, another new Pokemon. We've just been getting so many. It's great. 
So what do we got going on this time? A level up for Jazzy, that's good. Our boy needs to be nice and strong for this upcoming uh, gym. And that is going to be a grass type, a cotton bloom Pokemon. The cotton on the head of this Pokemon can be spun into a glossy, gorgeous yarn, a Gower regional specialty. Huh, interesting. Uh, no nickname for you. That was pretty cool. We'll send you to a box. And we are going to move to the right some more. What is this? It is a pretty feather, which will increase the... Wait, what? <laughs> Though this feather is beautiful, it's just a regular feather and has no effect. Okay. <laughs> That's a fun little mix-up. And there's still more to go here on Route 5. Well, let's battle you, I guess. Why not? Work work to raise the, the good points of a Pokemon. Don't, don't worry about its bad points. <laughs> I mean, we can work to raise those too, why not? We're challenged by Pokemon breeder Denise. All right, Denise. Uh, Cheruby, oh, that's cute. That is so cute. So I'm guessing with this one, we'll use Flame Charge. We really need to use the ether on that move before we don't have it anymore. Uh, so that's Cheruby done. Did you have anything more? I always forget to check. It never really shows you in the time that you would really need to know, though. Oh, Biggie's almost at the next level. Woobat, okay. I think that's a fairy type. But you know what, we'll just use Jazzy. It's a fairy flying, right? So Jazzy should be able to do good with this. I need to get him ex you know, more experienced anyways. So does he evolve? What level will he evolve at? Because we're getting him pretty high level without any evolution. All the other Pokemon around his level have evolved at least once. It'd be funny if he just stays this way forever, <laughs> you know? Uh, so Jazzy used Spark. Oh, nice, super effective. Sorry, Woobat. And that's gonna be level 21 for Tom and level 24 for Biggie. Hopefully Tom levels up soon too, or, or evolves. Wants to learn Headbutt. Do you, you have a water move, you have a water gun. Um, headbutt is 70 damage. The user sticks out its head and attacks by charging straight into the target. This also may uh, make the target flinch. So that'd probably be better than tackle by a long shot. Go ahead and just replace those two. Okay, so we forgot tackle and learned headbutt. Good job, Tom. And I'll accept that I lost, but I'm not gonna let it bother me that much. Good, just keep moving forward. Learn from it and move forward. And there should be a Pokeball right here, which has three X special attacks. Uh, an item that sharply boosts the special attack of a Pokemon during battle. It wears off, of course, once they run from the battle. Is there anything over there? Oh, uh, yep, there is, there is. What is it? It is an absorb bulb. An item to be held by a Pokemon. It boosts special attack if the holder is hit with a water type attack. It can only be used once. Very specific for some reason. Um. Oh, what about you? Hi. Keep this to yourself, but I'm having Pokemon help with my work. Why is why would I keep that to myself? That seems pretty good. Office worker Gabrielle. <laughs> Maybe because it's office work, are they not good at office work? Oh, Krogunk, this is the Pokemon I was thinking about earlier when we ran into, what was it, Lotad? I think Lotad. You're cool. Okay, so you should be a fighting type. I always forget what poison is weak to. Oh no, this is bad. I might have to switch things out then. Um. So, ouch, that's not good. That was super effective too. I wonder why. We're going to switch Pokemon. And I just, I need to figure out really quickly which one would be good. I, I really don't know. So I'm, I'm looking really quickly, I'm sorry. I don't mean to cheat, but at the same time, it's a defensive. Uh, poison is really good against fairy and grass, but it's weak to fight poison. No, it's not weak to fight. So it might, maybe it's not even poison, I don't know. Um, we'll just do something else. I'll just try using fire and see what happens. Cause I don't know what type of Pokemon it's supposed to be. Boom, oh, that worked really well. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta use your most powerful move and hope for the best. Smokey might level up here, yep, level 19. And we defeated office worker Gabrielle. You're a trainer who's stronger than me and the Pokemon that can do my work. Does that mean I'd be better at your job than you? Probably not, but I don't know. When I got stuck with my work, I had my Pokemon pet me. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, 
Uh, that would, I just wasn't expecting that. That's fine. Trainer tips. Pokemon that appear to be surrounded by a brilliant aura tend to be stronger than others. Uh, and when you defeat them, they drop watts. Oh yeah, we've seen that. Brilliant Pokemon. Or it seems you become more likely to spot these brilliant Pokemon the more Pokemon you catch. Gotcha. But yeah, I guess that's... I don't see why that's a problem. If that helps you, that's awesome. And are we, are we actually at the town already? That's great. I thought there was gonna be a bit more. Here we are, we're in Holbury. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, look at the elephant Pokemon. Oh, that's so cute. Wow. This place is amazing. So here we are at Holbury. Welcome to the town of Holbury, a bustling seaport that many visit to see its lively market stalls and famed restaurant. So it looks like this is where we're gonna be exploring in the next episode. I'm still blown away by the fact that we still haven't, you know, evolved some of our Pokemon here. Uh, what did I wanna look at? So I just wanted to see, we just made our way through from here all the way to there. That was pretty cool. And of course, we are able to do a couple of battles along the way, get a, quite a few level ups. Our Pokemon are getting stronger and stronger. Uh, maybe we can go into the Pokemon Center, at least heal up a little bit right over here. And then we'll explore Holbury in the next episode. Hopefully we'll be able to take on the gym leader. Uh, hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? Yes. I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds then. Okay. So, everybody's getting healed up. We have a ferocious looking team, if you ask me. Uh, and there we go. And let's talk to you as well. Cleared the gym mission at Turfield Stadium, did you, young challenger? Congratulations, now you can purchase more items. So, welcome to the Pokemart. May I help you? I'm here to buy. So, we can buy a lot more Pokeballs. I'm definitely gonna buy like 14 of them right now. Yep. And a couple of Great Balls would be great, what do you know? We'll buy nine of them. I don't need a ton. They're only for like when we're in a pinch. Uh, and make sure I have at least 10 potions I think would be good. Uh, at least five super potions. Just really make sure we're stocked up. Yep, just buy one. And three of each of these at the minimum would be good. Okay, we're good. Uh, no thank you, that's all I want. Now let's talk to everybody in here. It is no exaggeration to say that Chairman Rose developed Galar as it is today. Okay. So yeah, he's a pretty important guy. I get excited to see Pokemon that everyone checks in with the nurse. That's cool. Why is Dynamax possible only in Galar? Even Professor Magnolia doesn't know why. Well, hopefully we can unravel that mystery and it won't be that way any longer. Hello. Uh, actually, I don't really need you. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Uh, so yeah, that's awesome. I cannot wait to explore this area next episode and hopefully take on that gym leader. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Trainer so many of you watched at the end of you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.